and let's go. Time for some more Race to a Million. It's really our pleasure to welcome you here tonight. Uh, we've got some uh, distinguished visitors and guests that are going to say a, a couple of words for us uh, as we get ready to launch an experiment in social reality. And prepare to launch, they did. Race to a Million creators Dean Pearson and Peter Cameron Inglis hosted the kickoff event at Hotel 540 in Canlips, British Columbia. All the charities have committed to their teams and the teams have committed to their charities. We're proud to announce our charitable partners for this venture for Team Alpha. They're going to be representing the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. Team Genie. Actually, their charity is one of the reasons they changed their name to Genie, as they're representing the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Team Matrix is representing BC's Children's Hospital. They just confirmed this morning, and we got all the paperwork in line with them. Local flavor with national and international implications, represented by our friends at Team Nexus, as they're representing the Ask Wellness Center, right here in Canada's. And Team TRU is representing the Thompson Rivers Foundation. I think we got some pretty good charities to go to work. A large portion of the night was filled with words from some pretty important people. Our Member of Parliament, Kathy McLeod, and Canloops Mayor Peter Millibar started things off by expressing their excitement. So again, congratulations on the concept. Good luck to all the teams and, and I'll be watching. But congratulations guys on this. It's great to see some local entrepreneurs once again uh, stepping up and doing something very unique. Each team chose a representative to share their team's unique perspective. So uh, I watched the video. I was kind of wondering, is it socially responsible to show somebody in short and put it on TV without telling you? <laughs> The mysterious Team Nexus expressed their excitement for anonymously competing in Race to a Million. <laughs> and uh, I think we've got a very diverse team. We have a very different set of skills and backgrounds. Uh, and I think we started hard, I think, by meetings. And it's been a really good experience. And I think we're going to have a great time competing with the best of the best. And uh, I think we're going to have a great time competing with the best of the best. And I think we're going to have a great time competing with the I think we're, most of us are involved in the small enterprise, uh, can't make a different way. I think this gives us an opportunity to be more creative. And um, I think the first investment we're going to make is how many people have coffee tonight? You can have that. Coffee? Okay, we're selling uh, the antidote for 500 bucks a piece. <laughs> Uh, 
We uh, might look like the underdogs right now, but we see three huge advantages for our team, which we're really excited about. One, we have a ton of young energy. We're so excited to do this. Two, we have nothing to lose. And three, we're excited to rally the entire camp behind us, so don't count us out just yet. Peter and Dean achieved their goals for the evening by generating excitement, answering questions, and showing to the world that Race to a Million is here to stay. But with that, uh, we can draw this uh, thing to a conclusion thanks to Jordan Nicholson, who's going to be uh, video videotaping everything throughout. Uh, and uh, we just really want to say thanks for getting involved and joining us on this little ride. It's going to be fun. And good luck to everybody. Thanks for coming. Be sure to check out www.racetoamillion.ca for updates. Lift off. That's it for this week. Don't forget to hit us up at racetoamillion.ca.